everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Literacy Lunch. My name is Miss Renee, and today I'm going to show you how to use tactile letter cards in your Orton Gillingham or phonics lesson that you can use in a homeschool or classroom setting. This Orton Gillingham activity can be used with any concept that your student is working on. Students will be able to remember and recognize their letters better by physically feeling the letter instead of just visually seeing it. So to begin, what you're going to need is printer paper or cardstock paper, anything to cut into flashcard sizes. You're also going to need child safe glue and any material of your choosing. For example, you can use pom-poms, beads, glitter glue, or pipe cleaners. In this video, we are going to be using beads. First, we're going to cut out the pieces of paper into flashcard sizes. Next, we're gonna write the concept or words onto the flashcards. This will make it easier later down the road when you outline the concept with glue. And finally, we are going to apply the materials onto the flashcard so that it spells out the concept your student is learning. Once all the cards are dry, you're going to go ahead and pick up your letter card, have your student close their eyes, and with their fingers, they're going to reach out and trace the letter on the card. Then you're going to ask them what letter concept they think it is, and if they get it right, ask them what sound it makes. Be mindful that if your student is learning their beginning consonants, we don't want them to say the uh sound in the letters. So if your student says b b. We want to make sure we correct them and have them say B, B. This multi-sensory activity is great for students to do because when they see and feel the letter concept, they have a greater chance at creating a lasting memory that'll help them retain the letters they are learning. And that is how you make tactile letter cards. Again, this activity can be used with any Orton Gillingham or a phonics lesson that your student is working on. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel below for more fun activities that you can do with your students. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Literacy Lunch and I'll catch you next time.